Hi, I'm George, and in this Coalfish video, I'm going to be giving you my list of the top 10 zoanthids for reef aquariums. Zoanthids come in a variety of different colonizing formations and in numerous colors, often referred to as morphs. Zoas are amongst the most commonly collected coral in the saltwater aquarium hobby. They are easily propagated and are known for being very hardy to a variety of water parameters. This makes them a great soft coral for beginners. I tried my best to base this list off of popularity, price, and input I researched online. Starting from 10 and going down to 1, here's the list of the top 10 zoanthids. Number 10, Orange Bam Bam Zoanthids. Orange is not a very common color found in a reef tank, but these zoanthids will make a stunning addition. They are relatively cheap, and the majority of hobbyists report five new polyps every month. Most of the time, the skirts are thin and long, giving them a very wavy look. Number nine, blueberry field zoanthids. Blue field zoanthids are probably the most underrated zoanthids available to a saltwater aquarium hobbyist today. These are also very cheap and grow quite fast. The baby blue color will also give your reef aquarium a very unique look. Number eight, fire and ice zoanthids. Fire and ice are a beautiful species of zoanthid that are sought after for their brilliant steel and blue and red coloration. Aquaculture fire and ice zoos tend to do best in aquarium environments. I don't know many people who like zoanthids who have never tried the fire and ice swamps. They are a very common zoanthid for beginners. Number seven, my clementine zoanthids. They are a relatively small zoanthid that grows rapidly. Their punch of colors will complement any saltwater aquarium really well. I've seen them sell for $10 to $40 a polyp and are some of the cooler zoanthids around. Number six, Sunny Delight Palithoa, AKA Sunny D's, is a beautiful palithoa. They get their name from their bright green body with intense orange highlights. They tolerate a wide range of light and appreciate low to medium flow. They sell for an average cost of $25 a polyp and many hobbyists have reported exceptional growth rate like most palithoa. Number five, the Rasta zoanthid is a beautiful green and orange with a metallic-like shimmer that is sure to please the eye. This is also one of the more sought-after zoanthids in the hobby right now. I've seen them sell for $20 to $50 a polyp, and although they don't grow too fast, they are a must-get if you like zoanthids. Number four, Utter Chaos Pallies. The Utter Chaos is a high-end palithoa and has to be on every reef tank hobbyist wish list. With a gorgeous orange body, it will stand out in any display tank. It sells for an average cost of $50 a polyp, but it has been known to sell for much more. Many hobbyists have reported exceptional growth, just like other palithoa, which you better hope pays off considering how much you spent on it. Number three, blue agave people eater pallies. The coral clearly stands out against other polyps, like the one sitting immediately next to it that just pales in comparison. Its skirt is highlighted with faint touches of turquoise while the mouth is glowing neon green. These bad boys sell for a solid $25 a polyp. They grow fast and are sitting cool at the number three spot on this list. Number two, any type of hornet zoanthids. It's hard to imagine that such a coral could be real. When first introduced, this zoanthid set the world of reef tanks on fire. Most hornets are extremely expensive depending on their color. My personal favorite are the blue hornets, while there are also some rarer ones like the red and purple hornets. These are on most collectors' wish list. And the number one zoanthid in this hobby right now are the number one. Blue These zoanthids are from another world. Blue, green, and orange too. They only sell for an average price of fifteen dollars per polyp. Although they are considered hardy, they have been known to take their time to a new aquarium. Hobbyists have reported taking them up to a couple weeks to open after shipment. But they have a steady growth rate and trust me people, these definitely deserve the title of the best and number one zoanthid. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. I want you to comment in the comment section below and let me know if you liked, disliked, hated, agreed, or disagreed on any of my selections. I want to know. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. 
I have some more top 5 and top 10 videos coming out soon. And if you really like zoanthids, check out my other awesome videos I did on zoanthids. Alright people, this has been a fun video, but I have to go make the next one. Remember to keep those nitrates low. George, out.